Uh, this is the uh, finger wall that's between the uh, living area and the living room and the entertainment area where there's a nice uh, 24 inch deep by a 96 inches tall entertainment center. We'll be on the other side of this wall. It's two and five eighths inches thick to match up for a half inch drywall on either side that matches up with that nice crown across the top. What we need now before we attach it is some drywall to be sure to match up with the wall because it's the frame is plumb but the wall is not quite so we'll need to match to the wall because there's a straight line line of sight a straight straight line that anybody can see much variation but we should be able to compensate for that nobody will see the back side that's a mortise and tenon separate piece on the bottom we'll attach that to the floor and then uh, when we get it where we want it and then we will uh, attach the frame to that piece on the floor and attach the frame to the piece that's already attached to the uh, ceiling. And then uh, we need to hang some drywall on there so we can match up the sight line and allow a little bit for some joint compound and sanding so it'll look real nice. Well, I guess uh, that ought to do it. Putting on that uh, corner angle, certainly stiffened it up. It doesn't, the wall doesn't move at all now. I hope the owner approves of the work. It appears to be straight and a good co coat of joint compound and some good sanding and finishing will uh, make it look really good. So, uh, I guess, uh, in the words of a famous actor who said to his friend Babe, that'll do, pig.